There are some pretty unusual boats out there at the moment, but nothing I have seen that is quite as unique as this. This is the Tide Icon. Now, Tide are a German company. They are very newly set up and they have designed this in cooperation with BMW. And it is an all electric foiling luxury lounge boat. It is quite unlike anything I have ever seen before. And we are going to get on board and actually sea trial it. Experience what it's like to fly on board a all electric foiling luxury lounge. I have no idea what that's going to be like. I don't really even understand quite what it's for. I think it's for sort of shuttling guests to and from expensive restaurants or islands or hotels. But they are going to be developing a full private yacht too with cabins and everything else. But let's get on board, have a look around and get a flavour of what it's all about. So let's step on board and just have a look at what the first impact is of stepping inside this extraordinary craft. Look at that. Completely different to anything I've been on before. It's all glass, really funky central helm station. Check out the wheel on that. That's not like a conventional boat wheel. It's like a kind of Formula One steering wheel or possibly even a flight deck and check this out it's like being inside some kind of curious pointy greenhouse absolutely extraordinary and it goes all the way up to the bow just separated by this very slender strut support you can see we've even got wipers either side of here and indeed down the side. I suppose if you're going to make a boat out of glass, you're going to want to keep it clean. But check this out, look at the seating. And you might also notice something hiding under these cushions, seat belts. I've no idea if they're going to be needed or whether that's just a legal requirement because it's a foiling, flying boat, but we'll soon find out. Now it's powered by a pair of 100 kilowatt torpedo deep blue electric motors. It's got six BMW i3 batteries of 40 kilowatts each or 40 kilowatt hours each. So you've got a total of 240 kilowatt hours. And in theory, that should give you a range at foiling speed of around 50 nautical miles and a top speed of about 30 knots or possibly even slightly more than 30 knots. But hopefully we'll find that out for ourselves. But in the meantime, just drink it all in. I mean, look at it, you've got a little desk in the corner, flower arrangement, swiveling chairs, stainless steel backs. Absolutely extraordinary. Look at the back of that helm support. Just the most unusual thing you've ever seen. A little bit of a desk area here. You could probably serve some drinks or something. Now, clearly this is not intended as a, a private boat. Uh, this is very much for a luxury shuttle. But what an experience. You can see why people might just be tempted to have something like this attached to their pontoon of their hotel or luxury villa and just be shuttling guests to and from. Let's have a slightly closer look at that helm station. Look, even the throttles are completely otherworldly all angles and facets and sort of turquoise duck egg blue suede controls, all purpose built. Little joystick for maneuvering and much like an electric car, just a huge single glass screen bridge that controls absolutely everything. Now you can see how these foils are set underneath the boat. They are fixed foils with two little propellers on the bottom there that actually propel the boat and it's a full active ride control so a computer will be sensing the waves 
adjusting the foils to make sure we maintain a particular ride height and, of course, stability. But let's stop talking for a bit. Hopefully, we'll get going in a minute and experience exactly what it's like. So here is one of the motors. You can see this is the actual electric motor itself, and that delivers the power down the shaft to the little propellers on the foil itself. Here we've got the control box that's obviously sending the power to that motor and making sure that it's all sorted and safe. And here we've got the hydraulic actuators for the foil itself because those foils are constantly going to be adjusting to maintain the correct ride height. But all so small and neat. Look at that, that's a 100 kilowatt engine which should be, or motor, which should be equivalent to around about 130, 135 horsepower in terms of a combustion engine, but we'll find out. Now the boat weighs about 10 tonnes, it's 43 foot long, so there's quite a lot of boat that that needs to be propelling, but hopefully those foils will make sure that it's enough. So our captain is taking us out of the marina at the moment, just using one throttle at the moment the minimalist style wheel and he has been using the joystick so there is a bow thruster and a stern thruster that operate together with the two electric motors to give better control around the marina so in that respect at least it's very similar to a conventional joystick on something like IPS drives but it's only when we get out that things will really start to behave rather differently we're currently cruising at about eight knots. At the moment, it's still behaving in displacement mode. It has a conventional GRP hull with carbon fiber foils and a carbon fiber superstructure with stainless steel reinforcement and supports. Now, it's actually quite lumpy out here, so this should be quite an interesting challenge. It seems to be behaving much like a normal boat at the moment. You can hear the waves on the hull. It won't start foiling until we reach about 17 knots, so. Obviously, we need a bit more space before we get to that, but in the meantime, it's quite an extraordinary experience sitting here in the lounge. And now I can feel the speed building. A few splashes of water. We're still in the water rather than above it. Now I can suddenly feel things starting to lighten up. We're definitely getting some lift. And now we are properly flying. Just have a quick look. So now we're doing 24 knots. You still get the occasional impact. It's not flying so high that we're completely clear of the waves, but it's definitely a lot quieter, calmer, we're well above the chop. If you actually look outside, it is really reasonably lumpy. But now we are flying over the surface of the waves. You can probably get some idea of the speed we're traveling at. But look at those waves. Every now and then we just touch the very top of the tallest ones. But most of the time, we're just skimming effortlessly over them. eerily quiet for a 24 knot boat in a choppy sea. That is quite an extraordinary experience. Well, this is quite a special moment. I am driving the Tide Icon Foiling Luxury Lounge. Now we're already foiling at this speed and I'm told you want quite gentle inputs to the helm and it is just a tiny little turn to port or starboard. You don't need very much input at all but you can just feel a gradual turn. It's a bit like banking in an aeroplane rather than turning a high-speed boat. But what's extraordinary is we're now pretty much bow onto the waves. They're probably a foot to 18 inches, really quite choppy just not feeling that at all. And I think 
really when they talk about luxury, this is what they're talking about. It's not just the fact that it's obviously beautifully finished and all this wraparound glass and completely futuristic styling. It's the luxury that comes from comfort and a totally different experience. And all electric powered on the foils. Now putting in a, oh no, I can't quite see behind me there. There are some quite big pillars here, so we might turn to starboard instead. A little bit more slowly. We don't want to drop off the foils. But now we've got the waves on our forward quarter. Be interesting to see if it makes any difference. We're pretty much beam onto the waves now. We're going to keep the turn going. There's a little boat out there. Make sure we don't <laughs> go anywhere near him. Must be a slightly alarming experience seeing this coming towards you. So it's really not uh, an aggressive sports boat. It's a much more gentle experience. Everything about it, from the silence of the motors to the flying above the waves, and it's that lack of hull noise that really strikes you. There's none of the slap, there's none of the movement, there's none of the noise. Really quite extraordinary. And that is what is it like to drive the Tide Icon. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Now we're just coming off the foils, gradually dropping down. And we have landed. Wow. That is quite a change of pace and comfort. Now we've touched down, we are suddenly affected by the waves once again. And for a brief moment, we forgot just how lumpy it was. But we have just come down, back down to earth, with a bit of a bump, quite literally. So we're just coming back in alongside in the Tide Icon. A couple of bits of information you might want to know. So prices for this start at 1.9 million euros ex taxes. Now, although this has the full luxury lounge experience, you can fit pretty much whatever you want here. If you want to have more seating or a bed or a galley or a toilet, all of that is possible. So you can pretty much invent this deck how you want it, but it uses the same platform same electric motors and that same extraordinary styling. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing something quite as radically different as this. It's certainly been a fascinating experience to get out there and experience it on the water. So do let me know what you make of it in the comments below. I can't wait to see your reactions. Thank you for watching.